Bruins set to host the Toronto Maple Leafs, who have fallen out of the playoff structure in the Eastern Conference. Tonight's starting goalie is brought to you by your local New England Audi dealers. Experience Audi Quattro all-wheel drive tonight. Jonathan Bernier came in trade last June from L.A. for Matt Fratton, Ben Scrivens, and a second-round pick. Tuka Rask, well, he has tied his season career highs already with 22 wins and five shutouts this season. The Bruins come in just a couple of points ahead of the Tampa Bay Lightning atop the Atlantic Division. The game is on. It's a quick stop at home, and the Bruins need to bring it, Brick. Yeah, and this is a Toronto team that you can take full advantage of in their own end, which means own the neutral zone, everything... You know, when you get to that offensive blue line, has to get deep, establish the four check. Yes, your game plan for this particular line, the Kessel combination, Van Rijmsdijk and Bozak, and just let your depth and balance control the game. Brad Marchand in the near corner working against Carl Gunnarsson. Riley Smith back to Johnny Boychuk, the new daddy. Chara fires it off the apron of the goal. You could hear it clank. It wasn't that same ping as the post. Bergeron in front. The wraparound. Martian. Fanoff bats it to the line, but not out. Chara zips a pass off Fanoff's stick. It's high off glass. Marchand shielding the puck. Gunnarsson reaches around. Boychuk pinches down the wall and seals it off against Van Riemsdyk. And Joffrey Lupul carries to the red line and fires it off the boards and in. The David Krejci line out there now. Adam McQuaid has changed out as a defenseman. Krejci flanked by Jerome McGinley with the puck in Milan Lucic. McGinley off the stick of Bernier. Now it's transition. Barkowski holding Kessel's side of the ice. Phil Kessel closing and getting food. Kessel goes around the goal, throws it into the slot, and Lucic is there. The sneak away for McGinley behind the D. A save by Bernier. Lucic saw Aginla ahead of the pack. Aginla tried to pick the five hole between the pads, but Bernier blocks it. Yeah, Bruins looking to get that line on track. Really quiet the last two or three games. Real quiet in California. And what an opportunity for Aginla. Had an opportunity when he came down the right wing initially. Put a good shot on goal, a purposeful shot. And they were a breakaway from the red line in. Bartkowski swivels the puck off the boards. Louis Erickson with the reach for the puck. Nikolai Kuhlman draws it around him and finds Peter Holland cross ice. David Clarkson tries to chip it down the boards. And Randy Carlisle engaged in some gamesmanship in the pregame three on twos because these lines have nothing to do with the guys he ran before the game. So if the Bruins were doing any scouting, it's kind of something different than they thought they were going to get in the first five minutes. Quickly enough, they will make the adjustment. Tory Krug throw, throws Clarkson off balance. Spooner gets knocked down in a collision with Holland. Krug squirts the puck to the far side. Kevin Miller after it. Morgan Riley knocks it back to the near side. Holland out of the corner. Clarkson tapping his stick and receiving the puck. Shielding it away from Miller. Miller stays with it. Nudges the puck off the boards. Holland back to Riley. And Rask makes a glove stop. He'll get a line change out of this. Well, Toronto tries to get some goal with Kessel behind the net. He tries to make a play to the slot. He gets deflected by Kadri, and there's the layers of the Bruins' defense, and Lucic ends up with that loose puck. And again, flies the zone. Takes that puck on the back, and he attacks Bernie. He tries to go five-hole. Tried that little subtle of the drop on the right shoulder to make Bernie think he was going high glove, and they go right through the legs. Adam McQuaid to Sean Thornton. His first home game since the 8th of December, and he's going to get in a tussle right here. Fraser McLaren and Sean Thornton. Thornton trying to get the left loose. McLaren with the reach advantage scores. Thornton gets his helmet off, and he's a headless horseman now. Thornton with the advantage, but they'll shut her down. Thornton let him off the hook the minute he got the shirt over his head. McLaren, no vision at all with that jersey wrapped around his face, and Thornton just held him off. But this all started with a quality little face-off breakout play where Thornton gets nice and low, 
and makes a pass to the weak side D. The Bruins walked out of their own zone, and McLaren came over to finish his check, and Thornton was willing. It's all part of the conditioning and the reconditioning for Sean Thornton after missing 15 games. Thornton said he would continue to play his game. 11th season, 35 years old. It's a little late to change, isn't it? Thornton's sixth fighting major of the season. McLaren's seventh. Toronto has a league-leading 33 as a team. The Bruins are third in the league now with 31. Philadelphia has 32. This is offside. And the faceoff back to the neutral zone. An interesting dynamic happening on the ice right there between Marcia and Fudov. No surprise to anybody. Bergeron wins the faceoff back to Chara. He hammers it all the way around. Riley Smith, the Toronto point. Down the boards for Marcia and tries to poke in the middle for Bergeron. Now here comes Joffrey Lupel throwing the puck into the corner. Johnny Boychuk back, battling Tyler Bozak for it. Bergeron rolls it down the ice. Gunnarsson with Marchand on his back. T to D to the captain, Dion put up. He gives it up to Char at the line. He taps it down to the hash marks. Smith going through the seam, the backhand, a great save, rebound, Marchand scores. Bergeron sending Smith in with a beautiful stick handling move. Gets the initial shot, and Brad Marchand puts the Bruins up 1-0. And it starts with Char and getting to this puck inside the offensive blue line to keep the pressure on. And then Toronto's inability to check. Good hustle by Bergeron. That short little pass, but the support is there. Riley Smith is out high because Char is pitching down a little bit down that left wall. Marchand rotates behind Smith. Smith makes a little move to the back end, and Marchand continues on his route to the goal. And he jumps on that loose puck, gets to the blind side of Fanouf, and the rebound off the right pad of Bernier comes right in the direction. Nice start for that line. They had that wraparound opportunity on the first shift, and now they score the first goal following the Thornton fight. Mason Raymond can't control again. Let it Krejci to Lucic. The shot goes wide on the glove side of Bernier. Again, look past Lucic. Krejci gets underneath Franzen, and then Franzen angles him off. Franzen, the much bigger of the two. Here's Kessel with speed down to the half boards, but it's off a skate. Krejci waits for his teammates to jump up on the rush. Chara in the middle to Lucic. The blast goes well wide on the glove side. McQuaid reverses Lucic alone forward the goal line off Franzen's stick. Lucic takes the hit. Franzen knocks the puck loose. Krejci darts into the scene, but cannot control. Krejci from Chara, the shot knocked down on Tim Gleason's stick block. Mason Raymond up to the neutral zone, but Krejci with good back pressure to break it up. And again, Chara Jack standing in at the blue line, keeping the pressure on, allows for that opportunity for David Krejci. Krejci showed great patience, but uh, somehow Gleason kept that stick in the shooting lane. Good play. Peter Holland off Carl Soderbergh's stick in the Boston zone. Johnny Boychuk scoops it up. Gardner gloves the puck down. Louis Erickson pursuing it. Soderbergh takes a swipe at it. The blast from Boychuk and a glove save by Bernier. Well, the Bruins want to get up and keep that forechecking pressure on, which means good gaps from your D. It's an Chara with uh, McQuaid on that uh, defensive pair on this unit. We'll probably see a number of combinations for Boston tonight with that long reach, the poke check. He's positioned well, but that long reach and his strength is able to keep the play in the offensive end. Dougie Hamilton out with uh, what's being described as a mild concussion. Sedano Chara playing in his 1,100th National Hockey League game tonight. Morgan Riley indirect for Kula, and it's off his backhand. Boychuk takes the puck. Erickson knocks it down with the legs, taps it back to Boychuk, who early yesterday morning became the father of twin daughters. Good work out of Sheena. A seven-pounder and a six-pounder. Barkowski's blast and a save by Bernier, and uh, fans on the Twitterverse are suggested that uh, we call Johnny Boychuk's twin daughters the Rockettes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad suggestion. 
Well, it's good to have Johnny Boychuk back in the lineup, especially with Hamilton stepping out. And uh, we'll go back to Kevin Miller. He played real well against San Jose. Uh, Hamilton really, I won't say the odd man out, but Miller got significant minutes in that third period, Jack, with the game on the line. So it's nice to have that depth on D. But they're still looking long term to make up for the loss of Dennis Seidberg. Yep. As the shots on goal indicated, Toronto's defense having some issues. Carter Ashton all the way to the corner. And Miller has good stick position to keep the puck from going in front. Tory Krug off the apron. Miller to a gimlet, and that is going to go the length of the rink for icing. Well, the sport in Toronto is fire the coach if you're in the media. And <laughs> David Nona says not going to happen. Randy Carlisle has turned this team around, but Carlisle was saying that the Leafs are not playing with the same compete level they had last year. Yeah, and you have to combine that, and you can't ignore it if you're not getting the saves as well, like they might have been getting earlier in the year, Jack. You know, you're going to get different results, obviously. Gunnarsson's drive, save, rebound, scores! Tyler Bozak has Tuka Rask. Controlled the rebound. It was only about a foot and a half away, but there was nobody on Bozak, and it's 1-1. Well, Randy Carlisle uh, started the game with Lupo on the right side with Bozak and Van Riemsdyk. We said that they were going to have the game plan for this line, expecting Kessel to be out there. Well, with the icing by the Bruins, an opportunity to get his top offensive line on the ice with an offensive zone faceoff, and it pays dividends. Just talked about how well Kevin Miller played. Well, he gets lost in coverage. Rebound opportunity after a screenshot from the one-timer by Funuf. Rebound, Bozak. That was our first look at the Super Bowl camera. 240 frames per second. Normal is 30. So the Bruins now locked up 1-1 with Toronto. Boychuk wraps the puck down through the corner. Smith on the half boards, absorbs the hit from Gunnarsson to move the puck to Bergeron to stop and start against Bolzak, who has been on a wicked hot streak. Smith banks the, the puck back to Chara. He rattles it off the legs of Bolzak. Smith leaves the puck for Bergeron. The backhand chop over to Marshan. Marshan shielding the puck nicely from Gunnarsson. The diagonal to Chara, the quick drive off the back of Riley Smith's leg. Yowch. Number 42, Tyler Bolzak. Boy Chuck up the boards. Gunnarsson picks it off and sends it back to Tim Gleason. Gleason came in trade from the Carolina Hurricanes for John Michael Lyles and Dennis Robertson. Lucic trying to get it past Gleason. He spins it back to center. McQuaid hammers it around through both corners. Cody Franzen D to D to Gleason with a Ginla in his face, and that causes a hurried pass. Lucic gloves it down, trying to get through traffic, and he finds it behind Kadri and Raymond. Ginla back to Bartkowski. Bartkowski tries to flatten the puck. He can't. Franzen sends it forward under Kessel's forehand, and McQuaid recovers. David Krejci down the right wing, fires it off the blocker of, Rhyme, of uh, Bernier, excuse me, up and over the high glass. Brad Marchand gets the scoring going. Tyler Bulzak ties it up. Well, the Leafs have come back to tie it up. Well, the Bruins iced the puck. Uh, they had a Ginla on the right side uh, in place of Thornton. So that's your combination, but it's good work by Kessel. He's able to fish that puck out. Originally, I had Fanouf on the one-timer drag, but it was actually Gunnarsson that moved from that left point to the middle. After that puck was kind of a 50-50 off the draw, the Bruins couldn't get possession. Kessel makes a nice pass, and Gunnarsson's shot is nice and low, creates a rebound. Gunnarsson now has uh, three goals and seven assists for 10 points in 20 career regular season games against the Bruins. Jake Gardner closes. Miller down on his belly for the block. Gunnarsson's points per game are double that against Boston, what they are against the other 28 opponents of the Leafs. Krug, Kevin Miller turns away from Kuhleman. Krug fires it up the left side. Carl Soderberg 
into Krug, skates DDD to Miller. He's got Erickson ahead. He elects to send it through the corner. It hops over Bernier's stick. Riley gets it out. And Holland dumps it in. The Leafs will get a full change here. Char out the middle of the defensive zone. McClement attacks Paye. Carter Ashton through the corner. McClement takes it right to the post off the apron of the goal. Now here comes Paye exploding out of the Boston zone. The self pass and friends and plays the body. Gleason chucks it to the near side. Carter Ashton locked up with a Ginla and McClement lopes into the neutral zone. He wrists it down, and he was behind the red line, so it's icing against the Maple Leafs. Vote for the Amica coverage play of the week and enter to win a $100 gift certificate to the Pro Shop at TD Garden, courtesy of Nesson. Enter now at Nesson.com slash Amica coverage cam. Sean Thornton and Fraser McLaren exit the penalty bench as their five-minute fighting majors have expired. And, of course, at even strength, they can't return to the ice until there's a stoppage. And they both head directly to their benches. So Claude Julian gets the preference on the personnel after the icing. And Bergeron wins it back to Boychuk. Boychuk wrists it down the boards. Smith turns, tries to center. It's underneath Franz. And he tries to gather the puck underneath him. Hand passes to the circle. Marshines there. It's off Ashton's stick. And it lobs over the low glass. The faceoff in the Toronto zone. That Gleason really frustrated with the linesman. He set a pick on him. The Toronto defenseman, when he was in one-on-one -on -one coverage, Bruins win the draw, but they don't have a lane to the net. <laughs> nice little pick by the linesman. And, you know, things haven't gone uh, all that great for Tim Gleason when he came over to Toronto. Was he minus four in his first four games with these guys? Came over from Carolina, and he gets picked by the linesman. That can be frustrating. Boychuk's wrist shot. Blocker saved by Bernier. Marchand wrists it around through the corner. Smith stops, takes it to the backhand, slips it to Marchand. Marchand saucers it back to Boychuk. The snapshot through a screen goes off the end board. Markowski pinches down. It's off his skates. Gunnarsson nudges the puck out to center. Boychuk's there to wrap it off the boards and bounce it down. Gunnarsson played the puck above the shoulder with his stick, and then he got the next touch. So the faceoff again in the Toronto zone. Now the Bergeron line looks like that first period in Anaheim, Jag. I know the Bruins lost that night. They couldn't kill penalties, and that hurt them. The special teams play in, gave up a shorthanded goal. But that first period, if any Bruins fans were up late watching that opening 20, and I'm hoping there were a lot because yeah. Anaheim's a heck of a hockey club, hottest team in the league at that point. But the Bergeron line was dominant in that first period. Just couldn't bury one against Hiller. McQuaid's drive the juicy rebound just past Krejci's backhand. And you alluded to it during the Anaheim game. You said the frustration isn't there. You feel good about shift after shift like that. And uh, one gets the feeling that Patrice Bergeron's influence is able to, to convey that message despite what was on balance a disappointing one and two trip for the Bruins. Joffrey Lupel on the off wing working against Chara. Chara knocks down the shot before he can release it. Chara saucers it up looking for Krejci. Too hot to handle and it's icing against Boston. Well, Ginla tries to make a little backhand feed in the offensive blue line. This is a Toronto team that can't really handle a good strong forecheck. The Bruins already have a goal because of their forecheck. The rebound goal by Marshan. They've had opportunities by laying pucks in behind Toronto's D. I know it's really tempting to make plays at the blue line, but uh, establish that forecheck early in this hockey game. Krejci and Bozak. Bozak flanked by Kessel and Van Riemsdyk. Jerome McGinley up to the red line. Lucic way ahead of the play and has to tag up, and they'll just take a change. It's the Bergeron line right back out there. McQuaid knocks the puck forward to Marchand. Jake Gardner takes it away. Morgan Riley to Van Riemsdyk over the spoke B at center, trying to work his way through traffic. Good back pressure by Bergeron, and he takes it away from Bolzak. Saucer pass off. Smith skates, and it scoots to the corner. Would have been a nice chance for Smith had he been able to control the puck. Smith taps to Marchand quickly to Bergeron, draws it away from the defenders. Charo over to Boychuk, flattens it. The slap pass for Bergeron, high slot. The Bergeron line has it going again. Here's Marchand, the reversal comes off the boards. Charis snapper goes off end glass to Rob Brown, scores! Patrice Bergeron, 2 1 Boston. This line did about eight good things in 10 seconds. Bernier's complaining that this puck beat him because the net moved. 
And I'm not sure if he has an argument, but it's just a great shift. It started back in the defensive zone. The back check by Bergeron, the stand up, the good gap by Chara. And this is what you're talking about, Jack. The four checking pressure. The pressure in the offensive zone, the ability to win battles, the inability of Toronto in man on man coverage. And when you have to switch off, they get lost in that uh, exchange. And we'll get a look at the overhead wraparound on the backhand. <laughs> That's sure, in. <laughs> looks like a good goal. But that line and, uh, you know, the simplicity of it is the beauty of it. The rotation, the skating, the beating people, the active D. Chira jumped into a nice slot for a one-timer on the forehand. One more look as they review this goal, but clearly that's just a backhand that uh, has eyes. Off the stick, through the leg, short side. Bruins will lead 2-1. Tim Peel will have the announcement. We were reviewing to see whether the puck went in the side of the net. It did not. We have a good goal. That's all you want. Transparency. What were they looking at? And why were they looking at it? Wanted to make sure. So the Bruins up 2-1. Patrice Bergeron already with a multiple point game. He now has 11 goals and 16 assists on the season. Morgan Riley from the red line wide of Rask. Barkowski in the corner around the boards. Off Soderberg skate right into the slot. The shot from Holland goes wide. McQuaid up the wall. Erickson gets it out to center, but Gardner takes possession back. Morgan Riley draws Ryan Spooner. Here is Gardner, a terrific skater, right over the center dot. Right side, Clarkson in front for Gardner. He couldn't reach out and redirect with the forehand. Holland to Gardner, back to Holland in front of the Zamboni doors. Clarkson very strong. Shields the puck, brings it back to Gardner. Shoulder fake, looking for Kuhlman's tip, but Kuhlman couldn't get a piece. Soderbergh clears out to center. Gardner on the pivot, regains the line. He's got Clarkson in front, but couldn't get it to him soon enough. Clarkson continues to the end boards, reverses, nothing but Bruins there. It's Erickson one-handing it to Campbell. Gets undercut by Kuhlman's check. Campbell zips to Barkowski, completes the transition far side. Soderbergh gets tied up by Gardner. And uh, Toronto is, no, is it a Bruin going to go for a hook? Yep. Yep. Carl Soderberg making his way to the penalty bench. Patrice Bergeron with a goal and an assist already, but Bergeron will be busy killing a penalty when the game resumes. Carl Soderberg in the box for a hook. He tried to have that little inside move around Gardner. That didn't work. And then the stick work against Holland. We'll send him to the box. We'll get a look at Toronto's power play. Leafs were one for four with a man advantage in a 3-2 shootout win at home against New Jersey on Sunday night. Toronto has power play goals in two games in a row and three in the last four. Boston's penalty killing woes are well documented since Dennis Seidenberg went down with an injury. Bergeron gets the puck towards center and it wraps around to the near side. Cody Franzen with Dion Phaneuf, Phil Kessel, James Van Riemsdyk, and Tyler Bozak. Phaneuf right into the stick of Boychuk, nudges it ahead. Bergeron takes a whack at Kessel just for fun. And Boychuk rides it around the boards. Marchand and Bergeron shift out. It's Campbell and Paye as Phaneuf goes the serpentine route to the center line. Van Riemsdyk muscles down into the left wing corner. All the way around for Franz and along the line to Kessel. Kessel snaps it high slot, the redirection. Here's Bozak, scores! Van Riemsdyk sending it back across to Bozak, who was the original target. High slot. The Bruins' penalty killing woes continue. It's 2-2. Well, Phaneuf starts to play in the neutral zone. He attacks and gets the puck wide to Van Riemsdyk. And Van Riemsdyk takes Boychuk wide and transfers the puck to the opposite side. Spread it out, move the puck quick to get it to Kessel. Kessel's looking for that little redirect to Bozak. But it, even though that play doesn't work, the puck deflects right to Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk almost uh, convinced Char, perhaps, Boychuk, perhaps. Rask has to play the shot, the potential spinorama shot. And that puck goes right past the two Bruins defensemen. 
on the tape of the stick of Bozak, and he's got a wide empty net. Nice pass by Van Riemsda. Tory Krug, Kevin Miller up to the red line. Lucic spins and dumps it in behind Bernier. Krejci on the four check. Kuhlman can't clear. Lucic snaps the pass to Krug. The wrist shot stick save. Bernier pop up right in the slot. And there's a foul on the drive. And I think he'll be shooting two. <laughs> Krejci got knocked down. And I think we're uh, going to have a hand pass rule here. No, I think it's just going to be a face off. Uh, puck ended up on Bernier. He gloved it. But uh, nice play by Lucic to rotate back to that right point position. And he had the courage or uh, the presence of mind, certainly, to uh, zip that puck across to Krug. But I'm impressed by Toronto, Jack. You know, Bruins score an early goal. They bounce right back. Bruins take the lead again, 2-1. And they take advantage of their power play opportunity to tie it again. Well, the P level certainly is there tonight from Toronto. Lucic to Krug to drive. St. Bernier, and he does the man in the coffin. Just lie flat and get real still and hope the puck's underneath you. And the Bruins make use of that high forward in the slot area, and then Krug's open for the uh, for the pass. Lucic never moves off this draw. Slight little move to his right, makes himself available in that high slot. Now you have options. Sets up Krug for a real good one time with David Krejci trying to get to the front of the net for a deflection or a screen. Bernie had to track it. Franzen up the middle for Nazem Kadri. Lucic mugs Lopel, throws the puck forward, but it goes right to Franzen. D to D to Tim Gleason. Gleason into traffic. Kadri gets a piece of the puck. McQuay angles off. Mason Raymond, Krejci under pressure from Franzen. Raymond to Kadri, rotating to the point, uses the moving screen from Franzen. Barkowski has it go right through his legs. Raymond picks it up, sends the puck to the corner to Kadri. The shift against Krejci. Krejci keeps his body in good position and kicks it over to Lucic. Back to Krejci, again stretching it on the right. Krejci saucers it for Lucic in the corner, looking middle for Aginla. Boychuk cruising down, and Kadri just dumps it off glass out to center. Aginla up to the line. Lucic was caught inside the zone, and the Bruins change out their forwards. It's the Spooner line. Carl Soderberg and Louis Erickson, the wings. Jake Gardner gives it back. Morgan Riley to Clarkson off Riley's skates. To the end boards, Chara mashes Riley. Morgan Riley backhands it in front. Spooner can't make the clean clear out to Erickson. Boychuk showing a lot of muscle going to the corner and winning the puck battle against Van Riemsdyk. Kuhleman knocks it down and whips it through the slot. Soderberg backhands the reverse. And Boychuk has a little bit of space. Kuhleman makes the space go away. Boychuk shields the puck, gives back to Chara. Out the other side to Soderberg. Spooner leaves the puck behind. Second chance, gets it back to Chara. Soderberg for Erickson, he gains the line. Wrists it down toward the corner. Soderberg for Erickson in traffic. Gets tripped by Bozak, and on they go. Looked as if Erickson went down over Bozak's stick. And Toronto carries out of its own zone. Morgan Riley, the indirect pass for James Van Riemsdyk. Tyler Bozak, who's got a couple of first period goals. Kessel off the back of the goal. Bergeron settles it. It's into Van Riemsdyk's body. Bergeron kicks it free in the neutral zone. Van Riemsdyk off Marchand's stick. Bergeron in a battle. Gunnarsson sprays it ahead of Kessel. That'll be icing against Toronto with 4.13 to go in the period. Twisted but true fact of the game. The Maple Leafs started the season in 10 and 4, first in the Eastern Conference on Halloween. Since then, a little spooked. 12, 16, and 5, dropping to ninth in the East. Twisted tea, hard iced tea, the refreshing hard iced tea that tastes like real iced tea. Be a little twisted. And since November 19th, just two regulation wins for the Leafs. Bolzak upends Bergeron in the faceoff circle. And Toronto ices the puck once again.
It was a nice little give and go on that opportunity for Louis Erickson. Chipped that puck down the wall, allowed Soderberg to skate into it, and then uh, Soderberg able to shield the puck very nicely on a little cutback move. It's a great play right here. Spooner will be the second man, go deep along the goal line. That little cutback move. Bruins maybe should have had a power play in that instance. Kessel draws the puck wide. Bergeron goes over and bothers the pass. Chara knocking it down for Marshan, and here's Bergeron swooping all the way back. Off a stick, and the puck floats into the protective netting over the high corner glass. 3.46 to go first period. It is 2-2 between the Leafs and the Bruins. David Krejci said the key to the Bruins' win over a dominant San Jose team Saturday night was a full 60-minute effort where all four lines were bought in. Perhaps a repeat performance needed tonight against Toronto. Krejci is our key matchup brought to you by your New England Chevy dealers. In 36 career games for Krejci against the Maple Leafs, he holds a plus-14 rating, including two assists against Toronto in Toronto in the Bruins' 5-2 win back in December. Jamie, thanks. Bruins winning the other game between these two this season. 3-1. Krug gets it through the seam all the way in on Bernier, and he has to cover up. Toronto averages nine more shots against than it takes on its opponents, and that net difference of minus 9.1, actually, is the worst in the National Hockey League. Yeah, you know, you got to be curious, uh, Randy Carlisle's approach with his team. You know, when you when you have a team that, uh, you know, they tried to change it a little bit by bringing in guys like Clarkson and Bowen. Bowen, obviously, not a healthy body right now. But, uh, you know, do they want to play chance for chance, or are they trying to build a different kind of club under Carlisle? And it's almost as if Carlisle's coaching, basically, you know, the type of talent that he has. Bowen coming back from a uh, severed Achilles tendon, and he's had a special boot and is just about to get back on skates. Long road back. Barkowski steals the centering pass. Here's Thornton with a little bit of speed working against Morgan Riley. Barkowski showing the stick. Thornton tries to shove it in front. It comes off Gardner. Thornton shifts to the end boards, and Pie is right there. Back to McQuaid at the right point. Along the line, wiggling puck. Barkowski wobbles it wide. It deflected off of Carter Ashton on the way in. McQuaid through the legs, the backhand down to space. The Bruins will change out. Campbell the first to vacate the zone. Krejci comes on. Now Thornton and Pae go off. And again, and Lucic will cowboy over the boards for Boston. Toronto in a change. Rask keeps the puck in the trapezoid so he can play it. Barkowski off the boards and also off Kadri. And now Kadri has the steal. Franzen's wrist shot off a stick in front and wide on the stick side. Again, the quick pass to Krejci. Two on one with Lucic against Franzen. Krejci off of Franzen's leg. Lucic picks up the puck in the corner against Lupel. Lupel lifts the stick. Again, is there in support on the end boards. Gleason bangs again. Chara tees it up, the drive, save Bernier, and he covers the rebound. The Bruins with 14 shots on goal already. Oh, what a great play by Aguila back in his own zone to pull this puck back. He brings Gleason with him, and now it's a two-on-one after delivering a purpose pass to David Krejci. Milan Lucic knows Krejci's such a gifted passer. Stick on the ice, drive off that far post. Krejci tries to throw a little sauce at him, but that was a good defensive play. Friends and able to get that skate on that puck. Otherwise, that's a tap it. Cody Franzen, yet another one. David Poyle picked him in Nashville, and Barry Trotz had a hand in his development as an NHL player. David Clarkson. Nikolai Kulwin tries the self pass on Miller's side, bumps Miller off. Here's Clarkson in close support all the way out on the near side of the rink. Gardner along the line. Riley's shot indirect and looking for this rebound. Holland's shot blocked down, and Spooner will try to calm things down for the Bruins. Long diagonal indirect for Soderberg on side. Erickson holds, waits for Spooner, goes off the end boards past Soderberg's reach. Back to Boychuk, the one-timer off Kuhlman, and it bounds back to center. Soderberg there to cover against Gardner. Chara, the ambitious saucer through the seam diagonally. Boychuk to the circle of Spooner, fires it toward goal, and Bernier 
Bernier gloves it. It was going wide of the post. Game plans in the AT&T Sports Deck are now available and include all-you-can-eat appetizers, in-seat weight service, and a private cash bar. Available for Bruins and Celtics or as a combo. Game plans start as low as $125 per game. Visit tdgarden.com slash sportsdeck or call 617-624-CLUB. Final minute of the first period. Fluff brings it to Carl Gunnarsson. He trickles it into the Boston zone. Johnny Boychuk with Bolzak on his back. Van Riemsdyk has the puck hop over his stick. Rams into Marsh and Charles lofts it out to center. It bounces down at the red line. Smith up the boards. Marshan spins away from Fanoff. Here's Boychuk, the wrist shot. It rattles off the glass, hits a stanchion, and comes back toward the slot. Kessel nudges to Van Riemsdyk with 30 seconds to go in the period. Van Riemsdyk chases down into the corner. Kessel sends it around the boards. Back to Gleason jumping down to the hash marks. Kessel in front. Bozak shot saved by Rask. 20 seconds to go. Do the Bruins have enough gas in their legs for one more rush? McGinley takes it down to the corner. Krejci is followed him down. Gleason trying to run the clock. McGinley pries it out to Krejci with Lucic in front. Barkowski's drive and a save by Bernier. You know, Brick, there's a second to go in the first period here, and I, I just want to say hi to Derek Doc Seely uh, up in my hometown, the seacoast of New Hampshire, up in Durham. In the 1960s, he uh, he taught the schoolboys there the game of soccer. And they really didn't know how to play, but he taught them right because they ended up winning three state titles in four years, 96 straight games without a loss in the regular season, a profound effect on, on my love of sports. And, uh, Doc, for uh, all you've done for everybody in the Seacoast of New Hampshire, thank you so much for that. 2-2 after one period here between the Bruins and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, boys, a lot more scoring than the Bruins wanted to give up, but the offense was working for Boston. Boston Bruins Hockey on Nesson is brought to you by Subaru of New England, by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Buy Toyota's official website for deals. Buy a Toyota.com. Buy Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. And by your New England Ford dealers. Alongside Andy Brickley with Jamie Erdahl and our Nesson production crew, I'm Jack Edwards. Glad you could be with us. 2-2 after the first 20 minutes. A lot of rebounds at both ends of the ice. Jamie has a report from the Xfinity HD zone. Well, here in the Xfinity HD zone, we are congratulating Johnny Boychuk and his wife, Sheena. As Jack mentioned, Boychuk's had two twin daughters delivered early Monday morning, just after 2 a.m. Zoe and Kenzie Boychuk were born. Johnny was able to make it to practice Monday in Wilmington by 10.30 a.m., and he led team stretch after the practice. Tonight's game, he is wearing two hospital wristbands underneath his right glove. He says he can't take them off until the girls come home, which hopefully is after tonight's game before the Bruins take off on their next long road trip but Jack I think we're pretty confident as to how the boy Chucks will be spending the Olympic break in February <laughs> busy 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 Jamie Jamie in the Xfinity high def zone brought to you by the Xfinity triple play TV internet and voice and what a wonderful arrival that was and a doubling in size of the Johnny boy Chuck and Sheena boy Chuck family Take a look at those those eyes, because they're going to be bags under them soon. <laughs> Life has changed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For the better. Yeah, yeah, the world's a better place. First period summary brought to you by your New England Ford dealers. Brick, if there's one thing you want to see the Bruins do better in the second period, what is it? Uh, tighten up a little bit in front of uh, Tuka Rask. I thought they were a little lax at times in their own zone. Uh, yes, it was a pretty good bounce and a good power play goal by some talented guys. Uh, Van Riemsdyk finding Bozak. But that first goal, you know, that's so uncharacteristic of Boss and getting lost in coverage off a faceoff in their own zone. They're so well schooled at it. But there were other opportunities with some looseness in that slot area that needs to be tightened up. Marshan trying to get around Fanuf gives it to 
Riley Smith, Bergeron jams the backhand next to the post. Bernier down, and he pins the puck against the pipe. Now this line picking up right where it left off in the first period. They've been the Bruins' most dominant line. They've spent the majority of time in the offensive zone. I mean, that's a dump in with a purpose, but it's that first four check. You go cross corner like that, Fanufkic gets beat to the puck by Brad Marchand. And Marchand very quickly using his edges, a little cutback move between the legs, backhand by Bergeron, Riley Smith, that puck just about in the goal. Almost tumbled off the ankle of Jonathan Bernier and down into the goal. Bergeron and Bozak who have three of the game's four goals between the two of them. Gleason feeds it out to Van Riemsdyk long for Lopel. Char with the big radar sweep and Bergeron goes slamming into the boards after the play was whistled offside. Marshan pairing up with Bolzak and Chara taking a couple of pops at Van Riemsdyk. Doesn't appear yet that they have assessed any penalties for this. Bergeron saying, uh, what happened here? Well, it's a nice play by Chara, number one, keeping his body position. Bozak didn't do anything on this play, but at uh, real time, and it's a guy like Bergeron, so important to your club. I mean, you just assume if you're on the ice that something uh, happened that shouldn't have happened from Bozak. But it was actually the stick maybe of Lupel that got in there that helped Bergeron go down on the play. Marchand feathers the pass to Bergeron. He works against France and hits the brakes. Cross ice looking for Boychuk jumping up right into the crease. It rattles around off Smith, who has his second close call of the period already. Bergeron fights through the check of Van Riemsdyk to get it low for Smith, who trips over the legs of Gleason. Now Franzen in the corner, pops it past Boychuk. Bergeron rotating back. Bergeron has been all over the ice, side to side, rotating back for pinching defensemen. Tremendous support of his teammates. Bolzak wheels it right back past Van Riemsdyk. It bounces down near the referee. Krejci in a battle against Lupul. Boychuk shoves the puck to the wing. Phaneuf lobs it off the end boards. Van Riemsdyk and Boychuk over there. Boychuk belts it forward. Marchand draws a trip against Toronto. The Bruins will have the extra man. Krejci cutting inside. Phaneuf knocks him down. And Boston gets its first power play of the night. Yeah, Bruins maybe had a, a power play opportunity back in the first period when Erickson made a move in a slot when he got upended. Maybe some stick work by Lupul that helped Berger onto the ice. But this time... The Bruins will get the man advantage. Good strong work by Johnny Boychuk. It's an 8 on Charrett down low. Marchand steps off the wall, draws the tripping call. Jack, he talks about Bergeron being all over the sheet of ice. 200 by 85. He's on the left wing. He tries to make a play to Boychuk. He stays there. The puck finds him. He keeps the play deep. You want to establish that four checking game. He's the third man now. Well, Boychuk pitches down the wall, rotate back to the point. And that little wrist shot right there had Marchand and Smith going to that, and that just missed. The Gindler's bomb into the body of Bernier. And just yeah, now we get a little jousting between Gleason and Lucic near the goal, but they'll break him up. I want to continue on that thought because I've heard you say it to young players all the time. It's the 99 or 97 percent of the game you spend when you don't have the puck that makes you a great player or not, right? Absolutely. You know, I mean, the, the math tells you that alone. Yeah. You know, the best player in the game, no matter who do you think it is. You know, let's go back a couple of years and say it's Lindstrom. Say Lindstrom plays 30 minutes. Of those 30, how many does he actually have to run? If he's got it for three or four minutes, he's the best player in the world. Super dominant. Great. Yeah. to Spooner into the crease. Lucic the tap, and Bernier makes a strong like save. Which means he doesn't have the puck for 26, just to finish the thought. Bergeron always making himself available and seems to be mentally at least a step ahead of the play all the time. This is a delayed offside as Spooner was stuck inside the zone as the puck was rattling around at the blue line. 240 frames per second, super slow-mo. Have a look at Lucic's bid. Well, Lucic just plants himself right at the top of the crease and uh, Gleason's trying to play the pass. Spooner finds Lucic's tape. You get a real good look at it with the super slow-mo. <laughs> Bernier with his biggest save to this point in the game. That is sweet. That is a state-of-the-art camera and recording setup. I understand they're going to have five of those cameras at the Super Bowl. 
So you can see all the time that they're not actually playing. No, that's not true. <laughs> Here's Krug. Up to the center dot, Spooner over the line to Lucic. Lucic banks it to Krug. Krug comes off the wall, McClement in his face. Now cross ice for Krejci. Saucer pass back to Krug. The one-timer in Gimla. What a sweet sequence. Krejci waiting the puck just perfectly to get it over the stick and over to Krug. Three shots on goal already on the power play with about a minute to go in it. Krejci's pass too far forward for Spooner. Lucic to Spooner, high slot, back to Krejci, quickly to Krug, he tees it up, the drive tipped, a save by Bernier, Krug, stick handling, past the dot, Bergeron rotating back, taps the backhand over to Krejci, Krejci to the hash marks to Spooner, the high slot man is Bergeron, Lucic looking for Krug, crashing from the weak side, Krejci races to the puck, the right shot on the left wall here is Bergeron closing. He knocks the stick clear out of Raymond's hands with the wrist shot. Bergeron closing. Cross ice. Krejci and a save on the back of the paddle by Bernier. Spooner low for Lucic to Spooner. Tries to force it through the seam, and Mason Raymond takes the puck and scales it over everybody. Well, the Bruins got some real good looks. David Krejci from a below the dot, but it had a good angle on Bernier. I don't know how he got it, Jack. That was an athletic move. I'm guessing he got it with the back of the paddle. That was just a... Yeah, he turned the stick yep. over. That means the block is on its flip side as well. Kessel looking for Kadri and Boychuk. Belts Kadri into the end boards. Kessel throws it right back into Kadri's okay. skates. Chara knocks it down for Campbell to Boychuk. The first touch pass out to Marshan. Campbell rolls it in toward Bernier, and you heard the linesman yelling offside. Chara with Kadri trailing him. An S turn, and he opens it up for Campbell. Now Boychuk back to Campbell through the center circle. Gains the line. Chara going right down the slot, but now he's caught on the wrong side of the puck. Van Riemsdyk, it bounces past Kadri. Boychuk in the corner, locks up with Kadri. Louis Erickson. Van Riemsdyk looking for something to hit. He bounced off Erickson and Boychuk. Campbell to Marshan. Over the line, Franzen takes it back and spins the puck to the Boston end. Chara hard off a couple of sticks, and it comes to Gleason. Yeah, Campbell wanted to make a play with Chara on the move, uh, driving into that offensive zone, but it wasn't the time to pass the puck. David Clarkson's shot up on the blocker of Rask, and it flips over the end glass. Well, the Bruin power play, we said it got some good looks. Lucic had a chance right at the top of the crease. We showed you that with the super slow-mo. Lucic trying to find Krug coming in from the point. That just missed. And David Krejci he takes a perfect pass from Bergeron. And look at how Bernier gets this. Right arm, oh. back of the blocker. Stick turned over with an empty net behind him, and he gets a piece. Yeah, it went under his armpit, and he actually got it off the shaft of the stick above the blocker. Don't know if I've ever seen a goalie save one like that. Lucic, huge strides into the attacking zone. Akinla trying to feed Lucic, who goes heavily into the end boards. He was able to get himself upright before the impact. Barkowski looking for a big hit against Raymond, breaks up the play. Cody France in trouble for McGinla. Lucic in front of the penalty bench. Bozak springs it right to Barkowski, or rather Krejci. Krejci gets the return for McGinla, gains the line. Krejci a little dangle, goes around on the backhand side. McQuaid holds it, cross ice. Barkowski plays it on the bounce, intentionally wide. Bernier keeps it behind the goal line. Now it's Aginla spinning on Franzen. Franzen bangs him hard and the puck loose to Bozak. To Raymond, a nifty move around McQuaid who trips him. Penalty coming against Boston here. McQuaid will go for tripping Mason Raymond. Well, Mason Raymond always been, has been an outstanding skater and a pretty crafty player. Played yeah. against the Bruins in the Stanley Cup final in 2011. He's quick too. He's quick off the mark. He makes that little pull to the back end inside move. McQuaid has moved in from that right point when David Krejci took the puck behind the net. Krejci lays it out there, hoping for the one time. But McQuaid doesn't have a shooting lane, and he's trying to make a play. And then uh, you know you kind of get caught a little bit. I won't say out of position, but just you know, in no man's land a little bit. You think an offense. You're trying to keep the play in the offensive zone. 
you get caught moving forward, and uh, Raymond can beat you with that quickness. Bergeron oh, stick breaks on the faceoff. Rask trying to tie it up. The puck loose in front. Marshan waving at the puck. Bergeron without the stick out to face Fanuf. So it's a de facto five on three and a half, maybe three. Gardner across the goal mouth looking for Van Riemsdyk. Here's Fanuf to Gardner. The one-timer almost takes Van Riemsdyk's head off. Bergeron on the body check. And Marshan one hands it down the ice so Bergeron can get new lumber. And he actually changes out. Paye comes on along with Campbell, the two penalty killing forwards now. And on the power play, Toronto ices the puck. A break for Boston to get reorganized. Yeah, simple pass to Bozak wide open at the offensive blue line to get re-entry. And uh, he was saying, I got a piece of it, but the linesman said you didn't. Nine power play goals scored against the Bruins on 23 penalty killing situations in the last seven games, including tonight. Easily the Bruins' roughest stretch of penalty killing road this season. Pai skates the puck right out of the attacking zone, now turns it back into the zone. Can't backhand it through Fudoff and Bolzak. Dion Phaneuf carries up into center ice. Van Riemsdyk looking for Kessel. It's off a stick to Bolzak to Gardner. Gardner whacks the backhand off the end boards. It comes around to Kessel, who has two assists tonight. Van Riemsdyk wraps it around the boards. Gardner holds middle of the line. Phaneuf to Kessel. Top of the circle draws Campbell back to Phaneuf. Returns Kessel hard for Gardner. The shot scores! Beautiful triangular passing from Toronto across the ice. Phaneuf to Kessel who now has three assists and Jake Gardner puts the Leafs up for the first time tonight. Well, the Bruins trying to get real aggressive on the Phaneuf-Kessel combination out high. Campbell's going to go pressure. Pai wants to come back, but Campbell turns towards the inside. It's a quick return pass. Phaneuf over to Kessel. And now Kessel has the advantage to make a straight line pass from one side of the ice to the other. That's where you're looking for a save from Tuka Rask. It's a wrist shot by Gardner, glove side. He gets a piece. You're going to give up shots when you kill penalties. But the Leafs have come back to take the lead in this hockey game with a power play goal. Krejci and Peter Holland get tossed out of the faceoff. So Nikolai Kuhlman and Jerome McGinley will take it. And Kuhlman wins it back to Gunnarsson. Franzen up to the red line. Kuhlman the pivot. Lobs the puck to the corner. McQuaid, who is in the box for that second power play goal, gets it to Krug. Lucic to Krejci, racing into the attacking zone with Aginla. Here's Lucic's wrist shot off the bar, up and out of play. The faceoff will be in the Toronto zone. 12.32 to go in the second, but after being down two, Toronto's up one. The Amica coverage cam presented by Amica Insurance. Great service, great coverage, and a great price for auto, home, or life insurance. Well, we talked about the importance of special teams and the Bruins giving up a couple power play goals. They try to be aggressive. Campbell wants to be pressure on Kessel. Pai wants to put pressure on Fanouf, but what happens is... It's going to open up this lane. Kessel is looking across this way. He knows if he gets this puck back, he has a straight line pass to a wide open Gardner on the other side of the ice. And that's a pretty good puck moving power play to beat the aggressive penalty killing by Boston. So the Bruins trying to play catch up here and Milan Lucic barely missing just before the break. McKinley with a great read to steal the pass off Tim Gleason. Krejci gets tripped up at the line and on they go. France cross ice. Gleason goes vertical for McClement. He redirects it off the corner boards. A lively bounce, but Krug has it. Snaps it out to Lucic. Lucic draws it away from France and finds the seam for Krejci. Krejci cuts into the attacking zone. Shields the puck against Holland. Now flips the backhand around. McKinley gets tripped over Gleason stick and Gleason says, hey, you see that little rubber thing? I was playing the puck. <laughs> you know, you can understand why Gleason might be frustrated by this because he's reaching for the puck, but he trips Krejci in the process. 
Or trips to Ginla, excuse me. Yeah, he doesn't even trip him. It looks like Ginla just kind of locks his own skates and takes a tumble. Gleason already frustrated by the linesman sitting a pick on him back in the first period. And now he's going to go to the penalty box. And uh, Boston playing catch-up. Yeah, you think back to the Bergeron line, how dominant they've been in this game at times, especially in that first period. Twice you've had the lead in this hockey game. But now you're down, and your power play is going to be productive. Chara settles the puck. Riley Smith Toronto, works it forward to the goal line. Soderberg. Now it's Erickson. Louis Erickson brings it back to Chara. High slot. Bergeron the tap into Erickson. Skates low for Soderberg. Tries to shovel it past Phaneuf. It comes into the crease. And Bernier will cover. Now with Dougie Hamilton out of the lineup, the Bruins are tweaking their combinations here with the man advantage. Using Chara, using Krug. With different combinations up front. And Bergeron again tries to be that possession guy high in order to set up half wall goal line back door. Bruins try to set it up. Soderberg looking for Smith coming in off that point, but uh, Fanouf was quick to close the gap. Bergeron wins the faceoff to Chara. Quick rotation here. Smith closing. Swerves away from McClement. Back to Chara. The bomb off the stick of Coleman. The pop up goes straight over the bar. Bernier goes down in the crease as if stunned. And they will stop play here. I think it was Bergeron that was trying to avoid contact with Bernier. Yeah, Bergeron going to have a little chat. And uh, it was that contact that shook up Bernier. The Bruins did a nice job. Riley Smith takes it deep. Creates a passing lane for Chara's one-timer. Deflected by Kuhleman. And that's not Bergeron's fault right there. He got knocked from behind by McClement right into uh, the goaltender. Made some contact with him up high. And uh, I think Bernier just wanted a faceoff. Yeah, that, that looked like pretty mild contact. You see how hard Bergeron was trying to get out of the way. Chara to Smith cross ice. Erickson on the tight pivot. Chara holds. Can't saucer it through Kuhleman. And Phaneuf hammers the puck the length of the rink. Riley Smith to Patrice Bergeron. Smith to Soderberg. Can't redirect it to the corner. Bergeron rattles it down low for Erickson, but his pass doesn't have as much oomph on it. But Clement stings it the length of the rink. Yeah, a couple of turnovers just when you think you have something going in the offensive end. The first one by Chara, the second one by uh, Erickson. And Chara is the guy carrying up the puck instead of being posted in front of the goal. And he's also out at the blue line. And Toronto makes another clear. You isolated special teams before tonight's game, Brick, and so far they have let the Bruins down. Still about half a minute to go on this power play, though. McGinley doesn't get clean entry. Lucic battles for the puck. Krug one hands it forward, and Phaneuf two hands it out. And a smattering of boos at TD Garden in the final 15 seconds of the Boston power play. Ryan Spooner scoots over the line, put up from one side, and Mason Raymond turns and clears the puck. Execution and effort just not there right now with the man advantage. One shot on goal. Back to five on five now. Krejci off the kick plate behind Jonathan Bernier. Cooling up the boards for Lupel. Jake Gardner, who has a goal tonight, off the boards, but Lucic takes a quick couple of steps to get around Lupul. Here comes train number 17, but Kuhlman pokes the puck away at the line. This uh, rattles out of play. 9.25 to go in the second period. Toronto has quieted TD Garden. Now for the Berkshire Bank, exciting rewind. We'll go back to the first period where the Bruins established their forecheck to the tune of two goals. And the Bergeron line had them both, and it starts with that first man in on the four check. Forced the Toronto defense to move the puck. Second man on the other defenseman. If it's transferred side to side, Riley Smith now becomes the third man high. He's protecting the high slot, and that allows Chara to pinch down the wall. It's tech, textbook four check, forcing Toronto to go up the board. So when they pinch down with the defense, now you can make plays. And the Bruins do a nice job of creating a triangle in close support. Bergeron comes up the wall. He makes himself available for Chara. Slips open. A little move to the back end. You create a rebound. That's a second chance opportunity. All stems from the quality fortune. Every month, Berkshire Bank's giving away a Kindle Fire HD. Plus, at the end of the season, Berkshire Bank will assist one lucky winner with their mortgage for a year. 
All you need to do is vote for your favorite exciting rewind. Go to Nesson.com slash Berkshire Bank to enter. Berkshire Bank, life is exciting. Let them help. You know, the power play before this most recent power play, Jack, was pretty good. They got a couple of real good looks. David Krejci gets robbed. He scores there. The complexion of the game changes. But it doesn't. So, okay, it's still 3-2. You, 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 play, uh, you play through those things. But when you get another power play like Boston does on a, on a tough call against Gleason, you can't have that kind of power play. It, it takes away some of your momentum that you try to create in the previous power play that you have. The Bruins have allowed 11 power play goals to be scored against them in 10 games, including tonight, and they simply have not had an answer with their own man advantage. Now 0 for 15 in their last six games. Barkowski off the stick of Bernier. Miller overskates the puck, but then he seals off Fraser McLaren on the board. Morgan Riley in the corner under attack from Gregory Campbell and Daniel Paye. Paye throws it right into the slot. It's off McLaren's skate. Carter Ashton up to the blue line, taps the puck off the board. Kevin Miller scoops the backhand pass forward for Daniel Paye. He zips it cross ice for Sean Thornton. Thornton wanted to go cross corner and came off Gleason's stick and on to Bernier. And it's a good thing for Toronto that Bernier was tracking the puck because that was right in the middle of the goal. Van Riemsdyk sends it around the boards. Bozak trying to shield from Chara. Good luck with that. Bergeron angles it. Here's Riley Smith. Slips it to Marsh and the backhand off the skate of Gleason. Boychuk forward of the goal line. Now in a race for the puck, he yields to Bergeron, sends it middle. Van Riemsdyk off the end boards. Bergeron gets it back from Riley Smith, gets shoved off, balanced by Gleason, but stays with the puck. Bolzak up the boards for Van Riemsdyk. Bergeron angles him off. Smith takes it all the way to the blue line. Off the boards near the hash marks. Now it's Marshan, the quick reversal. He loses Gleason, loses him again in the other direction. Tries for the threesome, but it doesn't work. Franzen. Brings it out near side to Lupel, to Bozak, to Van Riemsdyk. Tumbling puck and Lupel's ahead of the play offside. Dale has a highlight with the Toyota game break. Dale. Thank you, Jack. Devils at the Canadians first period. Yaramir Yager stick handles through traffic. Fires one on net past Carey Price. 695th goal of his career. Good for sole possession of seventh place all time, Jack. Next guy up on the list is Steve Eiserman, but uh, Yager's going to have to go on a Crosby-like second half of the season in order to catch Eiserman this year. But who knows, Yager could play another five or six. <laughs> McGinley can't angle the pass out of the zone. Kadri throws it in deep. Krug off the end boards, and it comes right to Tuka Rask. And what is usually a lively building, because it's such a tough place for opponents to play, is a pretty quiet house tonight in Boston. Bruins are, what, 11-1-1 in the last 13 here in the Garden. They've been a dominant team at home. Uh, even when they haven't had their A game, they still stick to their system and uh, have that believability, rely on everybody on the roster to make contributions. Uh, right now, the, the Bergeron line is their most effective, their most dangerous as far as you know, looking for the tying goal. Looking for a little bit more from the others. Put off shot off the spoke B on the chest of Tuka Rask. Krug off the boards for Lucic. Here's Krejci. Two on one with the Ginla against Gunnarsson. And Ginla cannot quite redirect into the goal with Kessel on his back. McQuaid's pass comes off of Raymond cross ice. You will get chances, won't you, against this Toronto team? A pitch down the wall. A good play by Lucic. Second clear two on one that line's had. Gunnarsson. A very loud hit by Lucic, but it was almost all boards. As Gunnarsson lost his edge, and Lucic really could have done him some damage, but avoided major contact. Kadri with Spooner draped on him. Spooner's going to get a hooking call here, or maybe a hold with the spare hand. It's holding, and it was six and a half to go in the second. The Bruins 
who have given up two power play goals in two shorthanded situations are going to be shorthanded a third time. Yeah, another bad sequence for Boss, and they get that two-on-one opportunity. Krejci tries to lay it across to Aginla. That doesn't work. There was a little back check by Kessel, and then Spooner gets in on the four check. A little too much hand and stick work. He's going to go to the box. Is the play by Lucic and the bad pinch right there by Fanouf. If you don't have support, you can't step in in that situation. Think back to that first period when Krejci and Lucic had the two-on-one against Franz, and Franz made a good play. That time the pass gets through, but it's just out in front of a Ginla and doesn't land in time. And then the penalty follows shortly thereafter, and the Bruins got to come up with a quality penalty kill right now. Bertrand can't win the faceoff to open the penalty kill. Panos' wrist shot goes wide. Bertrand now 10 and 8 at the faceoff dot in this game. Panos with Bertrand chasing a lot of very aggressive pressure near the puck. Here's Bozak looking for the one timer from Gardner. Bergeron sprays it forward, no icing, so Bernier has to play it away from Marchand, who went between the goalie and the net. Creative cut by Brad Marchand. Kessel, the right shot on the left side, off Campbell skater, rattles down the slide, right to Bozak, the backhander, and Kessel on the rebound. Gardner, the defenseman in the corner. Boychuk can't ram it past him. Kessel throws it next to the post. It's off Chara's skate. All the way back to Fanuf. Fanuf pops it forward all the way to the corner. Boychuk gets underneath Van Riemsdyk. Campbell can't clear the zone as Kessel checks him. Fanuf keeping it in. Now Gardner, the left shot on the right side. Van Riemsdyk tries to wrap around. Two chances on the rebound. Here's Kessel coming up with it. And the Bruins getting booed in their own barn. Here's Kessel on the half boards. Brings it back to Gardner. Three quarters of a minute still to go on the penalty. Gardner's shot loose in front off the rebound. Gardner takes it far side. Boychuk tosses it forward to Marshan. Can't get it past foot off. He loads up the blast. Chara takes it in the chest. Can't clear it. That one hurt Chara. Kessel back to foot off the backup drive and a save by Rask. And finally, the Bruins can get a face off and change out. Uh, the Bruins giving Toronto extra outs to use a baseball analogy. Three times they had opportunities. The first one Campbell, the second one Marchand, the third one Chara. And you're late in the penalty kill. You're a bit gassed. An advantage for the Leafs. And uh, Van Riemsdyk, three whacks at him, maybe even four when he took it from below the goal line. Chara made a good shot block right here, but he tries to get it out. He sent it right back to the point. Officially, the Leafs have just three shots on goal during this power play, but I think we just saw replays of at least five. Centering pass for Lupulin. He gets his stick lifted. Cadbury comes out of the corner. Raymond gets pasted on Barkowski's check. Franzen can't control the puck, and Erickson whirls it the length of the rink. Sarcastic applause as Spooner exits the box. Four shots on goal officially according to the tote board at center ice. Let's go Bruins. The chant from some of the hearty souls in the crowd. Franzen swoops over the line, loop pull below the dot, can't pull it inside the post. McKinla shoves it ahead to Krejci, head mans the puck to Lucic with Franzen turning the wrong way. And the rebound comes off Bernier. McKinla, nifty backhand knockdown at the point. Krejci in the corner. Spins it back to Miller, the wrist shot. And that goes off the end boards. Some's got to give for this Krejci line, the opportunities that they've had. Aguila with a breakaway back in the first period early. Krejci got robbed on a power play. Lucic ripped one off the crossbar. He had one right at the top of the crease on a power play as well. Krug splits the seam for Spooner, but it comes off his backhand. Aguila bangs Kuhlman. Kuhlman's second effort up to Clarkson in the neutral zone. Now here's Kuhlman curling and dragging, and a save by Rask. The backhand by Holland, and Rask makes the stop. You can't blame Carl Gunnarsson if his life flashed before his eyes. He loses an edge and just about loses his head. Earlier on Bruins Face Off Live, we introduced tonight's Nesson Mobile Bruins poll, which 
has been the best offseason Atlantic Division acquisition. Reply A for Daniel Alfredson, B for Jonathan Bernier, C for Valtteri Filpula, and D for Bobby Ryan. Text your answer vote to 536-536. Message data rates may apply. Text help for info and visit nesson.com slash terms for terms and conditions and a privacy policy. Jamie, I'm just glad that Bobby Ryan's extended family subscribes to Nesson, you know, because <laughs> every time his name comes up in a poll, he runs away with it. He was the uh, the uh, the spiteful Olympian, right? The guy who didn't make it, so he ran away with that that poll, and now he's going to win this one. Uh, you know, it'd be hard to argue against Phil Pilar. I mean, amazing Without what Stamkos? John Cooper has done. Without Stamkos? Yeah. yeah. He's been huge down the tip. Yeah, and, you know, to stay on that topic, the Bruins, this is their game in hand on Tampa Bay, and they have a two-point lead on the Lightning. So a chance for Boston to expand it to four and have a little bit of a pass. By the way, Dallas, you know, I know, way up and down, but it's long travel. And then, oh, yeah, Chicago Sunday afternoon coming up. Yeah, back to back with L.A. coming home right yeah, after it, Monday. Exactly. Um, yeah, and I don't know if you remember that, L.A. game fans, because it was late at night, but uh, that's a pretty good team, too. Erickson for Soderberg. It's under his forehand. Soderberg swoops through the corner. Erickson takes it. Spooner posting up right in front of the goal. McQuaid's wrist shot. Ouch! That hits Spooner up high. Ashton tries to go 10 and 2 with the skates on edge, and Barkowski rams him. Barkowski's been pretty physical tonight. McQuaid cradling the puck out of the zone. Fires it off the boards and skitters down the kick plate. Spooner in the corner, turning away from Franz and who gives him a shove. And Spooner actually steps on the puck, and that's why he goes down. Now it's Van Riemsdyk trickling it back. Gardner has to pivot away from Spooner. Franz and under pressure from Riley Smith as the Bruins are in the middle of a change. Boychuk goes headlong into the boards, tripping over a leaf. Kessel on the quick rotation. Here's Gardner in the slot. Drops it off to nobody because Phaneuf was changing on for Franz. Dion Phaneuf hard off the boards. It caroms wide of Rask's goal. He corrals the puck for Chara. Chara up the wall for Smith. Smith tries to go cross ice. Good stick position from Tyler Bolzak. Bergeron nudges it in deep with less than two minutes to go in the period. Phaneuf gets through the seam past Bergeron. Chara on a bouncing puck. Bats it ahead. Riley Smith wing to wing. Marchand catches it on a bounce. Back to Chara cutting over the line. Chara swerves. Chara gets off the shot. Not much on it. Bergeron steals right through Phaneuf's skates. And the puck slides all the way in. On Jonathan Bernier. The road ahead brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And here it comes, Brick. Yeah, well, after this one here at home, the one game in between the three games out in California, the Bruins go right back on the road. Dallas just outside the playoff structure. That's a pretty good team, too. So the Bruins are going to have to get ready for that one. And, of course, I think just about everybody had the 19th circled on the calendar. Chicago Blackhawks in Chicago, NBC audience. And then right back here, almost 24 hours later, against the L.A. Kings. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the first people who had it circled were the executives at NBC. <laughs> no way we're letting Nesson have that game, sorry. <laughs> ah, well. You pay the $200 million a year, you get to call the tune every once in a while, right? Clarkson and Krejci on the face-off. And Toronto's got some of its mojo back. Brick, all last season we saw the Maple Leafs, and even the season before, we saw the Maple Leafs with a lot of desire and a lot of hustle, and they seem to have found that again tonight. David Clarkson against McQuaid. Clarkson on a tour of the attacking zone, comes out the far side, high slot, still has it. Second trip around. Finally, the shot off Krejci. Lucic knocks it down again, straight ahead of him. Lucic gains the line. The Bruins change out their defensive pair. Krejci picks it up on the deflection in the final minute of the second period. Lucic to Boychuk. The blast goes into the legs of Gleason. Aginla, one motion, the wrist release, but it's off a of skate and wide. Lucic shielding the puck, but Peter Holland picks his pocket. Now Clarkson into the zone. 
Goes the direct route this time and fans on the shot. Here's again the feeding Marshan hard across ice looking for Bergeron and it deflects up and over the glass. Oh, great play by Gunnarsson again. Toronto makes a line change without getting the puck deep on the fan shot by Clarkson. Now the Bruins have a play through the neutral zone on a change of their own, but Gunnarsson with great timing gets his stick in the passing lane. Marshan and Bergeron on a two on one. That's at least three clear cut two on ones for the Bruins tonight. And they haven't got a shot. Good play by Franzen in the first. Good play there by Gunnarsson here in the second. And the other one was Krejci to Ginla that just missed connecting. On the faceoff, it pops up into the face of Riley Smith. Barkowski knocks it down, fires it wide. 30 seconds to go in the period. Gunnarsson spins off the hit from Marshan. Bergeron back at the Boston line. Smith dropping it off. Barkowski to Smith. The drive is wild and high. Bergeron sizzles it for Marsh and it hops over his forehand. Put up tries to staple him in. Nothing doing there. Boychuk pinches down to the corner off the skate of Gunnarsson. Barkowski fakes the shot, gets around Lupul, tries to fire it middle. McClement taps off the end boards. Put up there, and the siren sounds to end the second. Marshan and Funuf for at least the second time tonight exchanging pleasantries after the whistle. Well, Toronto's been able to finish their opportunities. They have a couple power play goals of their three on the board. Boston has not been able to convert when they've had real good opportunities, but the Bruins got to believe their third period will be their best. Well, in the third period, Dale, the Bruins have the league's second best goal differential. St. Louis at plus 27 leading the league. The Bruins at plus 20. Toronto, Dale, dead last, minus 18 in the third. Boston Bruins Hockey on Nesson is brought to you by Toyota's official website for deals, buyatoyota.com, by Amica Insurance, by your local New England Audi dealers, by Sullivan Tire and Auto Repair, by your local Mazda dealers, and by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Alongside Andy Brickley with Jamie Erdahl at ice level and our Nesson production crew, I'm Jack Edwards coming your way live from TD Garden. The Bruins trail the Toronto Maple Leafs 3-2 as we get set to drop the puck for the third period. Moments ago, Brick found out what was going on in the room as he interviewed assistant coach Doug Jarvis. Doug, coming into tonight, uh, special teams had to be a concern. Uh, just one for 20 on the power play the last seven or eight games and giving up too many power play goals against. Uh, what needs to change with your penalty killing? Well, I, I think we've got to get our, our confidence back in uh, our penalty killing. We, we've always been a, a good penalty killing team, and right now we're uh, coming up on the short end of it uh, too many times. And I think guys are squeezing their stick out there, which, which should be an easy uh, exit with the puck down the ice. We're, we're, we're complicating it. We aren't getting it out. And uh, we've got to get back to the, the details, keep it simple, and, uh, and start to build it up again. Uh, the Bergeron line, five on five, very effective tonight. As has the Krejci line, but they have nothing to show for it. They've had a number of two on ones. Uh, Gillen had the breakaway back in the first period. Take us inside. You know what, what's their thought process right now as a line? It's going to come, or are they fighting it? Well, I, as you said there, as far as even the two on ones tonight, I think we've had three of them. I'm not sure that we've completed a shot on that on those two on ones. Uh, we need to we need to do that. And uh, I think as far as uh, the, you know, David's line, uh, the, like uh, uh, Bergeron's line, they, they've had a zone time, offensive zone time. They're managing the puck well, and I, I think the next step now. Is is to to get the puck to the net and to get uh, to get some traffic in there, not not to move away from the net, but to get into that crease area and get the puck in there. Well, this is your only divisional game in a stretch of 13. Good luck in the third period. Thanks, Andy. It's amazing how Doug Jarvis's words literally echoed yours about the two-on-ones and not even getting a shot off. Yeah, I would I would venture to guess. <laughs> you know, if the Bruins do get another two-on-one, that there's a shot on goal here in the third. Bergeron, Peter Holland can't clear the zone. And now David Clarkson does a little stick work to help him get around Tory Krug. Adam McQuaid there on the diagonal. Carl Gunnarsson, who's had a strong defensive game, sends it around. Gunnarsson also had an assist on Toronto's opening goal. Bruins having trouble getting it out of the zone. Tory Krug hits the brakes. 
Has to tap it off the corner boards. Kuhlman wraps him up. Krug loses his edge. Kuhlman goes down. And who else? Patrice Bergeron there to rescue the puck. Riley Smith cross ice. Adam McQuaid takes it on a bounce. Takes the hit from Holland. Fires it in deep. And the Bruins take a full change. Dion foot up. Up to Lopel, trying to get a lot on the back end, gets it right back for himself. Bolzak drops it off, Van Riemsdyk, shot, scores! James Van Riemsdyk exactly a minute into the third, and the Bruins, who were up a goal twice in this game, are now down by two. Uh, this is just flat ugly. You know, the Bruins uh, in the neutral, there's nothing happening here. It's a misfired play. It's a two-on-two. Two, then all of a sudden, it's a three-on-three. Three. Van Riemsdyk is able to hail the puck with his skate, set himself, reposition, use Char as a bit of a screen, and just rip a wrist shot, glove side. Guard to beat Char on the power play, glove side. Van Riemsdyk is just going to let the wrist shot go, glove side on Rask. And now a two-goal deficit for Boston. When Tuka Rask has allowed more than two goals, it has happened 11 times this season. He is one and nine with one no decision. And tonight is the 12th time. Does that make this 12th night? Chara chops the puck into the slot. Krejci trying to find it. Boychuk goes to the boards. Van Riemsdyk has body position. Bozak ahead for Lopel. Great effort by Aginla, getting all the way back. Aginla taps the bouncer past Lucic. Lucic attacks the puck, and it comes off Morgan Riley up and out of play. Now the Bruins need to find some energy here, Jack. They need something to inspire them in order to establish the type of game that they want to play here in the third period. You talked about all the numbers going into the third period, how Toronto struggles, it's one of Boston's best attributes, how well they play in third periods. They had a great third period against San Jose in that one nothing game, last game of the trip. Well, they got their cut and they're working out for them here in this third period, but the energy isn't where it needs to be right now. Kadri and Bergeron, Kadri gets thrown out of the faceoff. Bergeron 11 and 9 at the dot. And make it 12 and 9. Riley Smith on the half board gets it past Gardner up ahead to Marsh and Bergeron right there. Bergeron below the dot, centering pass goes underneath Barkowski's stick as the left side defenseman was pitching all the way down to the crease. Bergeron working on the end board. Smith tries to wiggle the puck loose. Bergeron kicks it out, but now Cadbury finds a little bit of space. Mason Raymond working on Kevin Miller's side of the ice. Miller wraps up Raymond, tries to heave him into the corner boards. Raymond still tied up with Miller. Miller gets him out of the play, and Riley Smith gets the puck to Spooner. An explosion of speed, puts it in Gleason's skates. Franz in the defensive pair of Tim Gleason rescues the puck. And there's Raymond once again. Raymond up to the red line. Now Cadbury gains the Boston zone. Spooner misses on the hit. Crew taps the backhand off the boards. McQuaid has plenty of space. Goes vertical off Gardner's leg, and it wiggles all the way in on Bernier. He taps to Gardner. Spins it back of the goal. Riley out into the neutral zone. McQuaid shoulder to shoulder with Carter Ashton. Ashton goes down, and McQuaid pins him there. Soderberg absorbs the hit from Lupul. Krug has to move the puck quickly to McQuaid. He loses it in his skates against Ashton, who sends it back to the corner. Soderberg reverses to McQuaid. Lupul changing out for Toronto, so the Leafs try to get fresh bodies on the ice while the puck's still in the attacking zone, but the Bruins clear. Morgan Riley flips the backhand over Gardner's stick. High the self pass with Campbell Middle, the shot right into the gut of goalie Jonathan Bernier. I'd consider that a two-on-one. And Pai let the shot go. Aaron pass by the Leafs, trying to work this puck out of their own zone. Self pass by Pai. They have a step around his man. Riley's the only one back. Campbell and Ned drive off the far post. Pai let the shot go, but Bernier is able to make the stop and smother it. Usually you look far side in that situation, looking for that rebound to go in the direction of Campbell, but it was too directly at. Bernier. 
But Clement wins the faceoff back. Phaneuf leaves it on the end boards for Gunnarsson. He's got a little bit of space. Campbell angles him off. Coleman hits the deck courtesy of Kevin Miller's giant hit in the neutral zone. Campbell takes Paye's feed. Barkowski has to wait for the puck. He's got Thornton on his right. Now Thornton cranks it off in the blocker from Bernier, and it goes past the netting over the glass, up about 10 rows on the far side. And now Phaneuf and Thornton tangle. This is the energy you're looking for. Kevin Miller with the big hit, trying to pick his team up in the neutral zone. Kuhlman, I don't know if he expected uh, Miller to be up this tight to him. That's great body contact. As soon as Kuhlman sends this puck into the offensive zone, boom, big hit by Miller. And of course, Fanouf doing what he does, bark a lot. And Van Riemsdyk now chattering at Kevin Miller. There it is in 240 frames per second. <laughs> it's amazing the skeleton stays together. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it's got to be done with timing. You want to stay within the rules, but you want it to be as big a hit as possible. You can't launch. You know, the elbows has to be tucked. The stick has to be down. The stick got up a little high on the follow-through, but uh, far enough away that didn't make any contact with Coleman. But real good hit by Miller. And see if the Bruins can feed off of, of that kind of physical play. They'll do a redraw here. Visiting center has to get his stick down on the faceoff dot first. Bolzak does. Krejci wins the draw. Lucic back to Chara. The wrist shot off Bolzak, who sank right down into the seam. Lopel tipping the puck to the corner. A, an interference penalty coming against Chara as he got tied up with Van Riemsdyk in the neutral zone. Well, the Bruins get what they want, which is a face-off win in the offensive zone, but Chara's little wrist shot gets knocked down by Bozak, who lost the draw. But he hung around to stay in the shooting lane and handle that little wrister, and then uh, through the neutral zone, Chara's going to get locked up with Van Riemsdyk right around his own defensive blue line. And maybe a little further than that. Right around the red line, I should say. And just kind of throws Van Riemsdyk to the ice. And he'll go for interference. Doug Jarvis told Brick between periods the Bruins need to regain their confidence on the penalty kill. And here's Brad Marchand. Three shorthanded goals and leading the league in that category going to the end boards. The Bruins need to make something dramatic happen in the final 16 minutes. First priority to keep Toronto from getting its third power play goal tonight. Yeah, and if you get a chance to make a strong clearing play, get it out. Bergeron hammers it around the glass. Phaneuf spanks it back into the zone. Kessel deep for Bozak off a stick. It bounces to the line. Gardner holds. Kessel with Phaneuf rotating on the far side. Gardner for Phaneuf. The one-timer up into Bergeron's grill. And Bergeron is doubled over in pain. Might have taken that one off the chin. But he did make the clear. <laughs> Knocked the puck down. Morgan Riley stick handling through the legs, but Gregory Campbell takes it and scales it out. Franzen knocks it down center circle. Kessel can't catch it on the forehand. McQuaid fires it off the linesman, Derek Nansen. And the Bruins end up getting a chance out of that. That is a tough, tough way to make a living. Now yeah, Puck gets patched up. Yeah, Puck's doing some damage right now. Linesman trying to get out of the way. You just don't have a chance. You try to get off the wall, Jack, because you're expecting uh, McQuay to rip it down the wall so the linesman steps to the inside. And he ends up taking it right off the back of the leg with his no padding. And then uh, Bergeron trying to get in the shooting lane on the one-timer by Fanouf. The good news is there's not a lot on that shot. It just kind of flutters up. But uh, I'll tell you from experience, those still hurt a little. <laughs> yeah. Cadre off, Paye stick, Campbell into space, Paye flies up the left side, not much angle. Bernier holds the short side on it. Cadre stabs the backhand forward, Lopel grabs it off the boards, hops over the stick check of Paye. Raymond inside the Boston line. 
Taps it back for Morgan Riley. Cross ice, Cody Franzen back to Riley at the blue line. Kadri asking for the puck and getting it. Kadri rotates it back. Morgan Riley cross ice. Franzen loads up the drive. Saved by Rask. Losing the stick in the process and the puck goes into the protective netting. Well, the penalty kill is doing a pretty good job of preventing any low plays and that forces Riley and Franzen to play a little catch along with Raymond. And finally, Franzen says, I got to get a shot on goal here. The power play's winding down. He tees one up, blocker side. A little bit of a screen as Miller comes across to pick up Loop. Franzen can shoot it. He's their power play leader coming into tonight in terms of points on the man advantage. Yeah, he was in double digits and power play points pretty early in the season. So, obviously, without Dennis Seidenberg and Zdeno Chara in the box for another five seconds, Van Riemsdyk brings the puck back to Gunnarsson along the line. Funoff's drive off Krejci's legs. Boychuk turns and hammers it out. Gunnarsson retrieves in the neutral zone. Dion Funoff draws Zdeno Chara forward. Chara on his way to the Boston bench. Bozak, a little too eager. Jumps the line before the puck gets there. It's offside. The faceoff all the way back to the Toronto zone. The Bruins down two, third period. Toronto will give you opportunities to score. The Bruins have certainly had quality scoring chances. A two-on-one. David Krejci looking for Lucic. That was well defended by Franz. And three on two. Lucic finally gets a shot through. Beats Bernier. High blocker side. That crossed the, caught the crossbar. Another two-on-one. This time it's Krejci to Gidlin. They don't connect. Two on one. Marchand looking for Bergeron. Good defensive play by Gunnarsson. The Bruins have had opportunities, and because of that, you still got to believe if you're in a Bruin uniform, you'll get more chances. Down two here in the third. Lucic to McQuaid off Krejci's faceoff win. Now it's Krug down into the corner, mucking against McClemity. Pops it over to Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson wheels around the net and throws it over the glass. That's going to be a delay of game penalty unless the referee sees a deflection somewhere. Now the linesman Derek Nansen coming over to consult. Well, from our angle, sure looked like a penalty, Jack. I mean, it's right down below us. I think I thought this puck went straight out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No question. Yeah. That touched not a thing on the way out. Get it right, fellas. Yeah, Bruce will have a power play. Yep. Throw penalty. Two minutes to lay game. Well, these are the power plays where you really want to make this kind of penalty, and, uh, and I don't agree with this penalty, Jack, to be honest with you. I'd like to see the league revisit it. But uh, it's, still, with it. it's still in the rule book. <laughs> and you got to admit, use it to your advantage when it happens in your favor. Bruins power play needs to cash in. Krug's wrist shot into McClement's legs, and McClement knocks it back into the neutral zone. Carl Last time the Bruins went from two goals down to one goal down, thanks to a power play goal, was in the game against the Islanders on the 2nd of November. So it has been more than two months since they've been in this situation, and they've been able to deliver. They haven't spent that much time down by a couple of goals, but they need it here. Spooner to Aguila, back to the flying Spooner. Curls out of the corner. Krug on the backhand, spins the puck to Krejci, to McKinla, looking for Krug. Spooner's shot saved by Bernier, and Kuhlman on the clear. You'll get opportunities if you move the puck and you have a little motion in the offensive zone. We got it right there. Nice backhand feed by Krug to start it. Krejci, the self-pass off the boards, tries to trickle it through Van Riemsdyk, the big body. Hard around through the corner and all the way 200 feet down to Rask's end. Chara, Smith, Bergeron, Erickson, and Soderberg. The quintet of skaters for Claude Julien on the power play. Bergeron over the line. Franzen tees it up, cranks it out. Van Riemsdyk looks for a shorthanded bid here. Working against the forward, Riley Smith into the front and a kick save by Rask. Here comes Bergeron, three on two up ice. Bergeron has Erickson middle. Bergeron holds, sends it around for Riley Smith. He's got Chara near side. The puck gets over the blue line and back to center. 
And the faceoff in the neutral zone. 26 seconds left on Gunnarsson's penalty. I think Bergeron was hoping Char would get up into the offensive zone when he took that puck wide. Finally put himself in the corner. All he could do was wrap it around to the opposite side to Smith. And then Smith has to try to handle Van Riemsdyk, a real good offensive player. Big, strong, powerful strides. He takes it to the back end to protect it. Smith does what he can to try to defend, playing like a defenseman in that situation because he plays the point on the power play. Soderberg working against Fanuf. Fanuf knocks him down. Gleason taps the puck to the circle. Kuhlman, the easy out, banks it off the boards. Ten seconds to go on the power play. One shot during the man advantage. Johnny Boychuk chips the self-pass in deep. Bangs against Gardner. Gunnarsson is out of the box. It's back to five on five. Soderbergh trying to rip his stick out of the body of McClement. Kuhlman up to the red line. Trickles it in deep. And Lupul will pursue as Toronto changes out. Boychuk has Pae up the wing. It's under Campbell's stick to Thornton. He bunts it back to Campbell. Lupul recovers the puck off the boards and out. Barkowski to Boychuk from the red line. Tags one and Bernier angles it with the stick up over the high glass. Tonight, following Bruins coverage, check in with Adam and Leah. For Nesson Sports Today, presented by People's United Bank, they'll have more on the Leafs and Bruins. Former Patriot Matt Light will stop by to preview the Patriots and Broncos. And then get the latest timetable on Rajon Rondo returning to the Celtics. All that and more tonight after post-game coverage. Campbell and McClement on the faceoff. Uh, right now the referee Tim Peel is uh, doing a little handiwork. Yeah, I think it was on the stick. Yeah, Jonathan Bernier's stick is all set. Back in the day, goalie used to go to the bench and <laughs> that would provide his defenders a good amount of recovery time. Boychuk's wrist shot, knocked down, Campbell creating havoc. Thornton backhands it off the bar and out. The Bruins hitting iron. Twice tonight, Lucic stung one that went directly out of play earlier. Here's Pai spreading it wide against Gardner. It caroms off the referee's skate. Gardner turns away from Campbell. Good read from Pai to Campbell in front. He scores! Bronze are within one with ten and a half to go. Well, there's your energy from your energy line. And it looked like that deflected uh, pop off the official was going to kind of stymie some of what pressure that Boston had after Thornton hit the crossbar. But I like this quick re-entry by this line. Pae uses his speed, and even though he doesn't have a play, he lays it in the corner, hits the referee, but they stay with it. They force Gardner back into the traffic, and Pae makes a great pass. He gets the pressure from Gunnarsson on the opposite side, thinking that... Uh, Pai is going to hang on to this puck, but he goes behind the back to Campbell, and Campbell makes a great move. That's a nice finish. Backhand, forehand, and get that puck up quick on the glove side. McQuaid wrists it around the glass. Funky bounce off a stanchion, and Bernier has to dive on the puck. Boston goal scorer, going number 11, Gregory Campbell. For Campbell, it's his first goal in 18 games. Well, it seemed like Toronto that, uh, you know, that momentum pendulum that we talk about, Jack, how it can really swing with teams. And Toronto's one of the teams that, uh, you know, things can happen real good in a hurry, but they can happen real bad in a hurry, especially the way they try to defend and the way they play in their own zone. And uh, Boston should feed off the goal by Campbell right now. Krug's one-timer wide of the blocker of Bernier. Again, little Lucic past the dot, takes the puck to the boards, brings it back to Krug. Krug, the wrist shot, trickles just past the post. Lucic piling up in front of the goal. McQuay taps it low for Aginla. Aginla gets pushed to the boards on Fanuf's check. Raymond sandwiched between McQuay and Lucic. The puck trickles to Krejci. Tosses the beanbag to Lucic. Lucic sizzles the diagonal to Krejci. Low for a gill of the drive and a save by Bernier. You can feel it coming. 
The Bruins are beginning to storm Toronto's end. Gregory Campbell has pumped life into the black and gold. Well, the Bruins looking to have some energy and pump some energy into this building into their effort, and they get it from their energy line. Danny Pai, the key. He makes a good read and react. Campbell with good pressure on Gardner. He's going to get in this area here, and as this play develops, Gunnarsson, the defenseman on this side of the net, he wants to put pressure, and he does on the weak side. Good vision back to uh, Campbell on the feed by Pai. Excellent goal by the Bruins. Fourth unit to get it to 4-3. Marchand in the shooter's position. Riley Smith on the inside hash. Marks Bergeron on the faceoff against Bolzak. Bolzak wins it back to Fanuf. Fanuf up the boards. Chara punches it forward. Bergeron in the next touch and the faceoff in the neutral zone. Anything between the red line and offensive blue line is going into the offensive zone if you're Boston right now, Jack. A lot of contentious stick swinging. Lupel prize Marshan right in front of the Toronto bench. Chara looking for Marshan. Phaneuf was trying to knock down Marshan's stick, and he makes the signal to the referees. That's going to be icing as the puck sizzled right past him. Now, I don't know if Chara thought that Marshall was going to kind of come at him a little bit. He's the stretch forward in this situation with a double swing, double barrel breakout with Smith and Bergeron swinging to the right side. And if Marshall comes maybe towards that center dot, he might be open, but uh, he's right there with Fanuf. Riley Smith has Marshall wide on Fanuf's side. Bergeron coming late. Here's Marshall's shot and a blocker saved by Bernier. Chara. Risks the puck around. Gunnarsson speeds it up the boards. Boychuk seals it off against Van Riemsdyk. Marchand into the middle all the way back to Chara. Chara, the drive. Comes back to Smith. He knocks it off the nuff legs. Chara off the boards. Bergeron hoists the backhand around for Marchand. He goes down under pressure from Gunnarsson. Then takes a whack at Gunnarsson. And Gunnarsson goes down. Smith back to Bergeron. Rotating Chara. Top of the circle. The blast leaves a dent on the end boards. Now it's Bozak working it out of his own zone. Into the stick of Boychuk, slowing it down for Van Riemsdyk. The rebound past everybody, and here comes Krejci. Gleason snaps the puck back to the Toronto line. Cadbury bounces it all the way to the Boston end. Bartkowski to Miller. The pivot onto the backhand. Lucic trying to feed Krejci, tries it again, and it comes off the stick of Kadri. And out of play. Well, Van Riemsdyk gets a pretty good opportunity with his speed and his big frame coming down the left wing. Gets around the faceoff, Dodd. Tuka Rask has to make an upper body save. Seventh shot tonight, Jack, for JBR. And 11 combined the last two games coming into tonight. He's finding opportunities to get shots. Well, when he turned pro out of the University of New Hampshire to the Philadelphia Flyers, they saw him as... Uh, Next generation power forward, and he's really blossomed in Toronto. Miller takes a big hit from Cadbury. Lucic goes right through Kessel and Franz to win the puck, but it hops over Barkowski's stick. Kessel on the go, locks down on Barkowski. Kessel in front, Cadbury saved by Rask. A hook and call coming against the Bruins with less than eight minutes to go, and Toronto will have a power play. Uh, tough luck for Barkowski. This was a bouncing puck on the pass back to the point uh, from down deep by Lucic. You'd like to see Barkowski win that battle of strength. Kessel's going to try to get there with his speed. And you can't, in, uh, can't interfere with him, but you've got to win that battle. And Kessel, though, able to free that puck up and find Kadri on the net drive. Rask had to make a big stop to keep this a one-goal game. But again, the pressure on Boston to get the job done with their penalty-killing unit. Two power play goals tonight for Toronto. Marshan makes the simple play and clears the puck. And you can't be cheating if you want to, if you're thinking shorthanded goal because you got to protect this uh, one goal deficit, if I can phrase it that way. But you might get a shorthanded opportunity against this group. Boy, Chuck with a barreling hit on Van Riemsdyk. He's looking around for his left glove. It's in the, crowd. It's in the stands. Johnny Boychuk hits a home run with an opponent's glove. It's the low glove for Van Riemsdyk. 
And who knows, maybe they're just going to leave the building with the souvenir. <laughs> you can watch hockey a long time and not see something like that. They threw the glove back on the ice. It's like Wrigley Field. Mason Raymond spinning. Cross ice past Erickson's reach. Erickson jumps on it. He's working against Franzen with Krejci filling Erickson's shot and a blocker saved by Bernier. Erickson shields the puck in the corner, chops it through to Krejci. Back to Erickson, tries to nudge it into the middle. Morgan Riley getting the puck to Nazem Kadri. Cody Franzen rattles it all the way through into the neutral zone and into Boston's end. McQuaid wrists it the length of the rink. What a hit by Johnny Boychuk. <laughs> Morgan Riley past the red line, the backhand to Mason Raymond. He gains the line, cross ice, a good read from Pae. The puck had cooperated. He's got a good break. Franzen hip checks Pae and staples him in. Campbell to Chara in front. Pae's one timer slams the end boards just wide. Boychuk jumping up. Rattles it around. Pae turns the goal in front for Chara. His shot goes off a of body and off of Bernier. Boychuk, they rule it offside. 5.52 to go. Barkowski's penalty has expired. James Van Riemsdyk. Anybody see my glove? The hard hits of today's game brought to you by Timberland Pro. And you know what the kicker to this package is going to be. But we get to show off our Super Bowl camera with 240 frames per second. And you see the incredible impacts that we've seen in this game. Brilliant hit as Kuhlman gets flattened. But the best one of the night, Johnny Boychuk sending James Van Riemsdyk's glove from the center of the ice all the way over the glass and into the stand. And these are the guys that threw it back. <laughs> has he got a Dougie Hamilton jersey on or is yep. that a Stevie Leach? Yeah. Might be Glenn Murray. <laughs> Less than six minutes to go. Dion Phaneuf taps the puck forward, gives it away to Tory Krug. Adam McQuaid through the seam to Brad Marchand. Marchand stick handles into the attacking zone. The shot up high on the shoulder of Bernier. Bergeron taps to Marchand. He wins the stick battle back to McQuaid. Fakes the shot, drives it. Bernier had a little trouble finding it, but he clamps down and takes the face off. 40 shots on goal for the Bruins with five and a half to go in the game. You look at the scoreboard, you say, how are the Bruins losing this game right now? Special That's, teams. Well, especially with the Bergeron line on the ice, they've just been so good. Marchand with a great speed. Forehand, backhand move through center ice to step into the zone. Let's a real good shot go. Then he wins the battle on a nice chip behind the net pass by Bergeron. Quick pass to the point. Only problem for McQuaid was, and he waited. He was looking for somebody to get to the front of the net. Toronto 2 for 5 on the power play. Boston 0 for 3. Let's go Bruins. The chant from the crowd. 5.18 to go in the game. Johnny Boychuk wins the race to the dots for a hybrid icing. Well, great advantage right now for Boston. They're going to get the Krejci line out there. Fresh legs. Toronto just iced the puck. Bruins looking for an offensive draw win right here with this line on the ice. That's due. Everything but a goal tonight. A breakaway that went for naught as Bernier made a huge save. Lucic rang a laser beam off the iron that went directly out of play. They'll do it again here. McClement and Krejci on the faceoff. McClement taps the puck deep in his own zone. Krejci working over Gleason. The puck comes up to the half boards. Chara flips it toward Lucic. Crowd looking for a call, but none coming. Bozak pulls up short, throws the puck in deep. Boychuk taking the hit to move the puck to Chara. The diagonal out of the zone to Aginla. He goes wing to wing looking for Lucic. 
Lucic Harris for up. Krejci in the mix. Taps to Lucic. Lucic banks it to Miller. Miller's one-timer saved by Bernier with Krejci on the doorstep looking for the tip. Krejci takes Lucic's pass. Angles it for Chara to Miller. Miller's wrist shot off the side of the goal. The crowd reacting as the strings twitch. Krejci fans of the pass attempt. Phaneuf chasing him. Aginlin turns away from Bozak to the corner. Lucic and Gunnarsson there. Lucic going one against two, and he gets the puck through to Aginla. Aginla works on the kick plate. Back to Lucic. Lucic cycles it to Aginla. Aginla against Van Riemsdyk. Jerome Aginla off the boards. Gunnarsson one-hands it. Aginla's there. Into the seam, but Lupul is the next layer for Toronto, and he just wiggles it out to center. The Leafs need a change. Miller up the boards. Lucic gets a piece of the puck. It's ruled offside. I think it's going to be an icing. Oh. Well, Thursday night at 8, gather the family, enjoy Dale, Billy, and Barry when WB Mason presents Bruins Face Off Live. They'll take a look at the matchup with the Stars, revisit the summer blockbuster with Dallas, and have all the latest news in the NHL hat trick. Get ready for the game right here, Thursday at 8. Spooner kicks the faceoff back to Miller. Barkowski has Lucic on the far side, turns into the seam, comes cross ice pass Spooner to Erickson. Erickson wants to get the puck in deep. Bernier stops it for Morgan Riley and then sends it through past Jake Gardner. Erickson to Spooner coming off the half board. Spooner tries to feed Soderbert. Soderbert hammers it into Riley's legs. Erickson on the end board. A frames. Erickson strong on the puck. Off Spooner's skate. Spooner on the far side against Morgan Riley to Soderbergh, the shot just wide. Erickson finds it first, tries to flip the backhand across the goal line. Now it's Soderbergh, big body, and Kadri bounces off. Soderbergh sends it for Spooner, the reverse on Morgan Riley. Back to Soderbergh, cross ice looking for Erickson, but it's off a Toronto stick. Mason Raymond up to the blue line, McQuaid looking for a big hit, rammed into Soderbergh. Second time Soderbergh's been involved in a... Bruin on Bruin hit in the last few games. Here's Bergeron gaining the line. His wrist shot goes off Gleason's blade and the end glass. Gleason broke his stick on the block. Holland gets the puck forward to David Clarkson. Barkowski hits Clarkson. Holland to the corner. Crew backs in. Clarkson whips it right next to the post through the crease. Gleason taps it into the slot. Krug on the block, smacks it out for Smith. He cuts back past Gleason. Smith ahead into space for Krug, but he can't reach it. Coleman bangs him off the play. Franzen goes down, and Krug had his stick in the legs. That's Riley Smith to Krejci off his skate. Marshan takes it, bounces it cross ice. Clarkson there, and he spoons it carefully forward. Uh, Toronto really on their heels right now. It's been way too much time in their own defensive zone. Rasta Krejci off the skate of Phaneuf. Now it's Thornton on the far side against Bull. Zach. Phaneuf going for the clean out hit and Thornton bypasses it. Boychuk across the goal mound. Barkowski, Lupul swimming around him. Bozak is there in support. Marshan kicks it forward. Lupul takes it back. Cuts to the right against Barkowski. Through Barkowski to the end board. Krejci the change of pace. Pace wanted to drop it back and ended up giving it right to Bozak. Now here's Van Riemsdyk going right to the goal. Tried to flip it in the near side top corner but couldn't get it inside the post. Lupul in front. It gets past Bozak and Akinla is there. Jerome Akinla to Milan Lucic. There's Deadwood right in the slot. Past Chara. Bergeron takes the puck. The goal is empty in the Boston end with 119 to go. Bergeron strong on the stick. Chara. Chops it around. It goes through both corners. Lucic to Aginla to Lucic. Cross ice looking for Bergeron. He spins it low for Krejci with Aginla high slide. Krug's drive tipped by Aginla off the high glass. Shara there one minute to go in the game. The Bruins playing with Tuka Rask pulled. Krug's shot goes into the legs of Gleason and down he goes. Bergeron low for Lucic. Lucic to the dot to Aginla. Cross ice looking for Krejci. Bergeron saves it at the line. The shot hits the pile. Gleason's down again. Van Riemsdyk gets it out. Steps around Bergeron and misses the open goal. But he's the first man back. 30 seconds to go. Bergeron in the hip check. Krejci the next layer. Van Riemsdyk looking for a call. That's a hip check. Here's Aginla with 23 seconds to go. Phaneuf bodies him down. 
Lucic around the boards. Boychuk fresh off the bench. Chucks the backhand off the glass. It rattles to Krug. Tries to get it middle. Chara and Gunnarsson there. Ten seconds left. Boychuk in the corner. Can't get it center. Gunnarsson tries to waste the clock. Spooner can't get it middle. Krug with time running out. And the Toronto Maple Leafs give up 41 shots on goal. But come from being a goal down twice to beat the Boston Bruins 4-3. Now the penalty penalty killing lets the Bruins down in this one. Two power play goals by Toronto. Their inability to hang on to the lead. They needed a few more timely saves from Rask. And their opportunities, even though they had three goals, Jack, they had opportunities for six or seven. They couldn't beat Bernier, particularly the Krejci line with the outnumbered rushes that they had. That was the difference in the game tonight. The Audi performance play is brought to you by your local New England Audi dealers. Experience Audi Quattro all-wheel drive tonight. The Bergeron line created a lot of chances. And it started on that first shift, the wraparound chance by Marchand. They scored the first goal by Marchand on a nice three-way play. Bergeron to Smith, Marchand getting the rebound. They were impressive tonight. Uh, Every time they were on the ice, that good offensive zone time. Char walked in from the point at a nice feet for a marsh in, and uh, Smith doing a job as well. Bergeron short side wrap, impressive performance by that line, but it wasn't enough.